As the marching in Israel continues in hopes for the remaining hostages to be freed, the St. Louis community is taking a stand and honoring those hostages. Fox 2's Taylor Harris is in Creve Corps tonight talking with some of the hostages' family members and shows us the tribute. While the family of Gaza hostages are marching in solidarity for their loved ones to be freed, no, the Israeli American Council and other groups here in St. Louis are paying tribute to the remaining hostages. We are hoping that this is really a point of contact that will unify um, those who have been contending here in St. Louis. The large blue and white ribbon has been installed on the side of the future M1 Bank branch on Olive. Ron Herrer, who lost a limb in the October 7th attack, was in attendance. Miraculously, the heat from the missile actually worked to cauterize and was then airlifted out and is here with us today. That's him. One of the organizers has a personal connection with one of the hostages, 79-year-old Hayim Puri. We have no idea what his health situation is today and we hope and pray that he's still alive. Several others are left with only prayers for the family members being held hostage. My brother and his family are also just there. Two of them got released. The first two American girls got released, and there are four of them still there. And my hope, and it's a really hope that they will come alive. Epstein Hebrew Academy students gave honor in dance, song, and they read the names of the remaining hostages. Carmel ben Kinera. Some of the world is actually saying that we should stop trying to get them back and stop trying to defend our people. We care. There's, there's what to do. We, 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 get, we, get, we become stronger. The ribbon of hope symbolizes the support the St. Louis community has for the hostages and the hope that they will be freed and reunited with their families safely. Reporting in Creve Corps, Taylor Harris, Fox 2 News.